Hi, so it's Mushu Kambogo here and I'm the, at the Magical Kenya Travel Expo and I'm here with uh, this beautiful lovely lady. I'll let you introduce yourself. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Nev Jiwani, the Group Managing Director of several companies in the industry. We've been in the industry for almost 27 years. Uh, today uh, we have invited all the, uh, uh, you can say, uh, consumers, local, regional and international, to come and showcase, uh, come and uh, taste the food, what our country, Kenya, uh, you know, showcases the cul culinary artists, so to speak, and uh, you'll be enjoying that experience in the Chef's Delight Corner. Okay. So I'd like you to tell me more about the International Quality Awards and it as a brand. International Quality Award brand, we started it almost 16 years ago and Kenya being a culinary destination, we have a lot of chefs with a lot of talent and a lot of artists and they, they have so much, uh, you know, they come out with the signature dishes and showcasing multinational culinary, multinational culinary cuisines. So we've got over 35 different types of cuisines in this country and chefs have got so much talent and they've got so much passion and it's literally showcasing their signature dishes in a plate or in, in you know, literally showcasing their tastes and their plates, uh, plating the dishes where the whole um, artist uh, you know, impression is concerned, you see, right? So okay. I'd like you to just take me through all these awards. I see a couple of two awards here. Just yes. take, take me through the both of them, and yeah. what they're all about. So we started this campaign, uh, you can say it's a promotion, where we realized that Kenya being a multinational culinary destination, but people, when they come to Kenya, they don't realize that we have got so, we've got over 35 different types of cuisines. Yeah. So we've got over 89 outlets who have taken part in this program where need, they need to showcase the signature dishes, but also the different types of cuisines. So you've got French, Italian, Kenyan cuisines, and we're also looking at avenues where chefs can use the local uh, local um, uh, food. Uh, you know, the you can look at the vegetables. You've got the uh, you know you've got the spices. You've got so many ingredients in this country that people don't need to uh, you know import. They can use these brands in their food in the kitchen behind the scenes to make sure they showcase the different cuisines and the signature dishes on plate for people to come and enjoy their uh, the brands and the different cuisines. Now, Chef's Delight started in a sense that a lot of chefs were uh, not getting out of the kitchen. When you say compliments to the chef, they were not getting the exposure and the visibility. So we started this brand 16 years ago, and today we're really proud that we're really taking it to the next level, that chefs now have begun to get a lot of, um, you can say, uh, uh, you know, a confidence, and they're so proud in what they do. As you can see today, the way they have, uh, you know, showcased their signature dishes, made me uh, main courses, made me starters, or it may, may be salads for that matter. And every time somebody tastes a certain dish, they can literally identify the brand or the restaurant they come from. So this is a, a, a very, very unique program. It is not, we don't have judges. Literally, it is the restaurant, the consumers go to the restaurant, they enjoy a dining experience, and they literally uh, write a review online. And within, we have also got um, uh, an app that within a minute, uh, live, live feedback is come to the specific restaurant that they know so and so came and tasted that food. Either the customer is happy or they're not too happy and they're writing their reviews after tasting the food and enjoying the experience. So this is very important that it is always the customer who is your best judge. Without them, you don't survive, and they're literally the best critics and the best judges at yes. the end of the day. So we've tried to make it as um, uh, as uh, uh, interactive as possible from the chef to the consumer. Okay? Yeah. So would you like to take me through this word and this word, and then maybe we could just do... Do you have a favorite dish here? Okay, um, this is sushi. I love both the restaurants today we have got concord they're showcasing the cakes and pastries and savories today and here we've got the sheka japanese cuisine which they're, they're showcasing their uh, sushi and the tapanyaki and the whole idea is that we want people to come and enjoy the dining experience and enjoy the taste and the, the presentation of what they're doing chefs are very they work very hard they work from the heart it's like you know getting a painting on canvas they put it on their plate. 
So if you look at the dishes, the way they presented themselves, it's from the heart, it's from passion, right? So these, I, I don't have a specific favorite food because I like, I'm a foodie and I love all kinds of cuisines. So if you if you'd ask me, I like all kinds of cuisines. I love the Kenyan uh, cuisine. I love the Italian. I like the French. I like the, you know, the Japanese cuisine. And we, I love also the street foods as well because a lot of people in the streets as well, we are trying to get them out to showcase the signature dishes so showcase the identity so to speak that hey i'm using kenyan ingredients over here which is local but all they're doing is showcasing their passion and presentation of the food that people can enjoy that experience made me from the streets made me to a restaurant made me be to a five star or a three star hotel or going to a six star hotel because food there are three things we put us together in this world we are looking at food we're looking at sports and we're looking at um, uh, music. These are three things we put the whole world together. And food is something which now Kenya has become so popular about that we're showcasing the top leading 35 different types of cuisines. And this is where Chef's Delight Awards was um, uh, created. And uh, I'm also proud to say my group CEO, Mr. Mansu Jivani, he is an ex Utali student and he brought the silver medal for Kenya. And he represent, represented Kenya and he brought the silver medal and that's how we started the Chef's Delight Awards, right? So I was there just behind the camera just seeing you um, with the food here at the Yes, I've just had lunch over here at the Chef's Delight. We were doing the awards and um, it's, it's something different. You know, the, the team behind Chef's Delight are extremely, extremely um, innovative. You know, um, uh, looking at new and different uh, things to be doing. You know, gone are the days of your regular tourism, which is still our backbone, our beach, our safari product. We've got many different products. You know, there's sports tourism, there's medical tourism, and there's also now culinary tourism. You see it everywhere. Everywhere you go, wherever there's an event, wherever there's a function, you're always going to have food going side by side with that. And that is what the Chef's Delight team are trying to capture for Kenya and I think it is extremely timely and needed and this is now where we can go and move forward so um, yes I'm extremely honored to be to be a part of this to be able to um, come and give the review um, and, and come and see what we're having here 89 participants already um, have signed up for for next year's um, Chef's Delight uh, which will be a week of uh, culinary experience so uh, watch this space um, we'll be doing uh, another you know a launch obviously with the Chef's Delight uh, team for that but I think it's important you know um, uh, it's about being innovative it's about bringing in new products and one thing that we were speaking about before um, Kenya we are always exporting a lot of our produce um, but ha by having this here um, it actually fits into um, the, the Big Four agenda um, by His Excellency, the President of Kenya, and also for tourism, which is uh, spearheaded uh, by uh, Honorable Najib Balala. So here, another 
chef uh, delights uh, first also is culinary tourism so that's again doing something which is from farm to plate which I think is is great you can never have too many products you can never promote Kenya too much um, and again like I said I am always happy to promote and to partner and to support anybody that is willing to drive the Kenya agenda outside and positively so um, today Closing off on the weekend, this has been a very special um, thing and close to my heart to, to attend. And um, of course, it being of course even here at KICC, but for having this here, this is one to watch. Um, culinary tourism is going to take Kenya by storm. So um, again, uh, we're, we're, very, we're very happy to be, to be seeing this. Just, just quick, I just saw you do some fun things right there when you were doing the photo shoot. Just tell the public because I'm sure they kind of think you're corporate and busy all the time. So what do you do on your free times or your, or your free moments? Because I saw you were quite fun. Yes, no, um, I think it's, you know, it's, it's the modern day leadership. You know, there's a time to be serious. There's a time to have a, you know, to be fun. There's a time to incorporate everything together. And I mean, I think that's what a lot of people are beginning to ask now and the people are beginning to do. You know, um, you're only as good as, as who you are. Be yourself. But this is me. You know, um, I'm a very unconventional CEO, but I get the work done, you know. But um, for me, I think it's, you know, it's not always about being serious. Here, I don't have to be serious. I can still be myself. I love food. So um, being able to try it out and able to taste it and, um, and you actually being able to see my reactions, you know. Uh, like I was saying, okra, I normally hate okra. I don't normally eat it. Um, no offense to anybody that loves it. I mean, we all have our own different tastes and everything like that. But here... They've been able to incorporate it into a sushi, a vegetable sushi that works. You know, so um, it's, it's things like that I love. You know, I love outside thinking, outside thinking out of the box. You know, so here it's been, it's been a, fun, uh, a fun break. And then now I, I get to go back upstairs and, and clear my desk and ready for the weekend. But it's been fantastic. Yes. So oh, uh, that was quick and that was beautiful. I was here with the most beautiful, the hardworking, oh the gosh. very corporate <laughs> Nana Thank, Gesha. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you also provide the food? Because I know that also with Diamond Plaza they've got a new state of the art building for conferencing. Yeah, yeah. And the facilities with that. Yeah, so banqueting the hall, yeah. banqueting hall. So yeah. you also provide the food for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. We, we um, a lot of times yeah. people always are wondering, you know, what do you think when um, some, another place pops up? You know, it's they go, gosh, are you not worried? Are you, is it competition? I said, no, it's not competition because we in Kenya are struggling in the mice business. So the more that we have, because I mean, KICC is a, a, a venue, it's a known venue, but again, all of the hotels, any place that holds a meeting, two or more people, serving food is fantastic. But the fact that you're now taking it to another level with your passion on place, with uh, going places yeah. over here, I think this is um, a new form of tourism. You can never have too many products. Um, we've got our safari product, we've got our beach product, we've culinary also got tourism. our culinary tourism now, which is huge. Um, and also with social media, you're positioned particularly well because it's all about being visual. And people like to experience, to see the food, taste the food, and share that experience. So, so well done to all of you. Yeah? Great. Your name is Collins? Chef Collins. Chef Collins? Chef Joshua? Fantastic. Well done, and of course yourself, sir. My name is Ashok. Is Ashok. Ashok. Fantastic. So definitely with that, but I know we've not even finished because after that we're going to the sweet stuff. Yeah. Nice corner. Just avocado. Chili flakes. Chili potato. Chili. Sorry. Chilies. Is that Nana? Yeah, Nana. Yeah, that's. Very much. Nana. Sorry, can I just get a picture? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Are we filming or pictures? I'm picturing Picture and I think they're filming next to me. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> thank you, how are you? I'm well. Good, I know we still need to meet. Yes. Yes. We'll find a moment. Yes, fantastic, thank you. So, this is without the spice, yes. But this here, if I eat one of these, do we have some water on standby? Is it very hot? Not hot. Is nobody saying chili inside? <laughs> All right, here we go. I've been told it's medium. So you have water on standby just in case. No, no. I'm kidding. It's not hot. Lemon. There's some lemon in there. That's sweet potato. Sweet potato, but there's a bit of lemon inside and chili. Very good. It's a healthy corner. 
right next to the sweet food. <laughs> <laughs> so you're making these, but it's always even good to give everybody a healthy option. With that sweet food, we're doing the, the, the chef's delight to um, have a whole healthy food. Lovely. Thank you. Well done. Okay. Good job, everybody. And keep it up. All right? Well done. That is nice. Do you have like a couple of projects coming in that you can maybe tell to the public? Absolutely. We've got the Bar and Mixologist Awards as well coming. And today, uh, Go Places is, if you look, go to see, we, we are a hospitality company as well. Uh, we started this 27 years ago, Go Places, the brand that's been in existence. But we do have a travel desk. We promote Kenya as a magical uh, uh, Kenya to, uh, you know, destination for people to come and visit all our hotels, our lodges of a safaris come and meet our people we've got art we've got culture we've got people we've got our musicians we've got the most talented people in this country uh, you've got the Maasai markets we've got our different types of tribes in this country who have got so much special to offer from the art to the uh, jewelry to the culture to the paintings to the history we've got so much so that's one brand number two is we've got another brand which we showcase uh, you know um, our country in other ways as well we've got fashion as well that this is something we've got talented upcoming fashion projects as well uh, I'm judging one of the fashion projects which you will see us very soon we're talking about uh, the uh, uh, our local artists your fashion designers where they want to showcase their brands as well and uh, we want to see how we can give them a platform to showcase their uh, identity through the fashion uh, because we've got so much to offer as uh, you know as um, talented artists and um, uh, you can say designers where fashion uh, printing from the fabric to actual product to making somebody wear uh, uh, an outfit truly Kenyan all right uh, other projects we're looking at is we're looking at the bar and mixologist product as well because now we are training each outlet uh, when they have got fully stocked bars, maybe cocktails or mock mocktails, we are we are teaching them, we are giving them a day training where they can come out with tailor-made cocktails or mocktails with their brand on it. So if somebody, and they put it on the menu. Yeah, so this is something which we're trying to see because a lot of people after five o'clock, they want to unwind, they want to go for a cocktail or want to go for a mocktail and they feel, oh, let's go to Concord or let's go to all right, check, check, uh, check, check out. So these are the places where people can come and unwind and then before they go for their main meals, at least they can come and unwind and have their cocktails as well. So that's what we're doing. From start to finish, we tailor make and we make sure that our chefs are very comfortable in what they do and we're also having uh, personalized testimonials from each chef showcasing and talking about the experience as well which chefs delighted how where they were and where they are today and we're giving them platforms to have visibility so that's what we're doing yeah so for the chefs and for the companies that are doing all these culinary things do they do they have to like submit or like do you like choose them like randomly so that they can become part of you uh, the idea is that we have, we do have some KPIs to make sure that they pass this because we're not judges. Like I said, we have got some, you know, we're looking at standard and quality, consistency, quality and delivery. So brands are very, very important. Maybe a restaurant, maybe a bar, maybe a hotel. You need to pass certain uh, criteria in order to ensure the quality is there, the food is there, the presentation is there, the cleanliness is there to make sure because we do not want customers to have a problem when they go to any restaurant or any nightclub or any hotel to ensure that whatever they taste that they don't get uh, you know any kind of problems with cleanliness and all that is concerned and so far we have not had any problems and they do qualify in an unsure we do site visits but it's there it's it's not a force for them to to be part of this process but they've realized that since we've started this journey with us they've realized that they've we've really taken them to the next level where the visibility is concerned and because them they interact with a lot of other chefs as well so we try to keep up uh, uh, other chefs also inspiring each other 
they have meetings together they look at avenues that they learn from each other at the same time they are also getting confidence for each other and say you know what that like if you look at these two chefs they were working together they say oh i have finished this my plate is ready or my my stand is ready where can i help you so they were literally working each other if you look at the people all the chefs are working together and helping each other although they don't feel they're competing with each other they're complementing each other yeah and this is bringing the the chef family together the chefs together and that's why it's their delight when we initially started chef's delight we used to call it uh, what and win with go places 16 years ago so initially we used to go to restaurants and tell people to uh, you know beef up the services and then it came to a stage the branch go places was dominating the actual cause of what chef's delight is all about so we called it the chef's delight because it's their delight isn't it so we took them out of the kitchen it's their delight it's their signature dishes it's their message it's their kind of passion and they're creating something out of nothing and it's like a painting for them on canvas all right so i definitely love what you're doing so for the viewers out there i'd like for you to share your social media platforms your pages so that they can get to see or yeah get to like experience whatever you're doing so you go to go places digital we come out with a weekly e newsletter uh, which showcases everything about chef's delight but also our hospitality uh, uh, you know hospitality uh, uh, you can say platforms where we promote hotels restaurants safaris and uh, experiences where you're concerned with the chefs are, where the restaurants are concerned and it's very fundamental i would advise a lot of chefs and all of a lot of hotels that please be part of this journey because you're not alone we've got so many hotels so many restaurants and we're looking at even cafeterias because we've got cakes pastries savories a lot of people and if we've got non veg we've got the vegetarian cuisines we've got so many types of different types of food uh, local food uh, which we can, which can be provided you've got the cheese you've got the wine you've got the drinks you've got the beverages and let's all come together to make this journey be a successful journey to showcase Kenya that it is so magical that it is not only for travel where hospitality and lodges and safaris are concerned but also to have a culinary experience and this is why we want to promote culinary tourism right this is definitely diverse i i absolutely love whatever you're doing you. so that was beautiful I'd like to give out another message as well that we come out with a weekly e-newsletter which comes out between 2 and 4 every Friday and I want people to go through our go places digital where we showcase all of our hotels our restaurants our experiences through all the hospitality industry and we want people to like our pages to see what we are showcasing this is something which is on Instagram on Facebook on Twitter on LinkedIn and we get a lot of likes but go through our facebook page as well and we are very very you can say we, we do not boost our pages we like on um, like other uh, you know uh, products like what they do we it is very very due to merit so uh, subscribe to our weekly e newsletters and to see what what we compile every week and if we are very very powerful on twitter and linkedin social media facebook uh, uh twitter as well and we want people to know that whatever we are showcasing we want people to like and subscribe to our weekly e newsletters to see what's what every week we showcase and every week the different messages